Hello, hope you're in fine voice. One of the questions I'm sometimes asked is, where do you find scripts for video games? And for other subjects as well, but particularly for video games, it seems to be there's a lack of them. Or if you want to transcribe your, your favourite video game, you'd be faced with all sorts of copyright issues and you don't even want to go there. And it's getting a, a script that you can use with characters in there and some sort of plot that isn't going to cost you any money. That's that's kind of what you're looking for. However, we can embrace our old friend artificial intelligence. And if we use chat GPT, we can ask it to write a, a video game script for us. And we can be very clear and very precise about what exactly we we want in terms of characters and maybe even plot. So let's take a look at how you do it. First thing to do is go to OpenAI. So openai.com should take you to this page. And then you want to try chat GPT. And then it will prompt you to sign up. So you've got to put your uh, login details, create a password and all that business and put your phone number in so they can send you a verification uh, one-time passcode. Once you've done that, it will take you through to the next phase, which is obviously checking your browser and then you get this rather unprepossessing uh, little platform page here. Um, but here where it says send a message is where you type your query. So in this case, I want them to generate, I want the chatbot to generate a script for a video game that we could then record at a future date. So I need to be quite clear about what I'm asking for. So it gives us something relevant. So let's have a think. I'm looking for, uh, well, I'm looking for them to generate, please write, let's put that in, write a script, let's say a voice acting script for a video game that I can then record as a demo. Makes sense, doesn't it? Let's see what it says. If I press the little paper plane there. Okay, right. So it's a, sure, here's a voice acting script. Oh, and blimey, it's generating a whole load of stuff here. I've got Marcus in there. He's grunting and panting. It looks quite a long script, actually. I don't know how long this is going to go on for. Oh, another character coming up. We've got Emily, female character. Oh, end of the game. Uh, and the narrator. Oh, so it's not it's not that long. Maybe I don't know. Maybe it's about a minute or something like that. So it's just enough for a for a demo. The title they've given it is The Last Stand. Character's name is Marcus. So we've only got one guy, uh, one character. Well, we had a female character as well, didn't we? Um, the storyline is the world has been overrun by a virus that turns people into zombies. Marcus is the last survivor of his community and he must fight his way through hordes of the undead to reach a safe zone. And here's the script start of the game. So you could do that. You could record that as a storyline if you wanted to. Or you could come straight in as, as the narrator look. It's given that. So that's a, def a different character, presumably, to Marcus. And then this is your character, uh, sorry, your narrator. The world as we know it is gone. A deadly virus has turned most of humanity into mindless, flesh-eating monsters. Blah, 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 that kind of thing. Marx is walking through a deserted city, and then you probably wouldn't say that. So the stuff in, in brackets you probably wouldn't recall. But anyway, fantastic. I mean, it's just brilliant. It's just created that from, from nothing, really. Um, Marcus is fighting the zombies there. You could record that. Let's let's try another one. Let's say, please write. I'm always polite on these things. Please write a script 
or let's say a short, short script for a video game with multiple, let's say that, multiple characters. Please write a short script, let's say voice acting script, just to make it nice and clear. Please write a short voice acting script for a video game with multiple characters. See what it comes up with. This is the Space Odyssey. We've got Captain Alex. We've got uh, somebody else. I missed that one. Dr. Rachel. What else? Who else have we got? It's Rachel and Alex at the moment. Have we got someone else? Alien Commander Jola. Jola. Brilliant. So there we go. <laughs> these look these look great. Plenty to get your teeth into here. Gives you character one, two, three, three characters. And then was there a fourth? No, maybe maybe uh, Alien Commander Jola, Jola, who is hostile. Is the uh, is the third character so brilliant? A really good way of creating a nice script for yourself to get your teeth into and get recording that demo. The flexible thing about it is you probably noticed the little box at the bottom saying "regenerate query" or "regenerate question" whatever it was, and that will give you an alternative really. So if you press that, then what will happen is it will redo the whole thing, maybe changing the characters' names and so on. So using AI, in this case, chat GPT, to our benefit, I mean, lots of people are, are quite understandably very concerned about artificial intelligence and how it's going to impact voice acting. But really, we should use AI as a tool. And this is a prime example where we can use it ourselves to then benefit us and create scripts that we, we can use to our to our own advantage and, re and record demos. That doesn't have to be a video game, of course. You can put a shampoo commercial, maybe you invent a, a mythical shampoo called follicle uh, or whatever, baldy, whatever you want to call it, and um, and just put that in and say, write a script for me. It will do the rest for you. And also, of course, you don't have to stick to that. You can alter it and you may want to alter things. So you may just want female characters, for example, or you may want a mixture of male and female, young, middle-aged, old. You, you can put all sorts of things in there and see what happens. And in theory, it should give you something original and different from the next person that's doing it. So let me know in the comments how you get on if you try it out and whether you think it's good and it's worth having. It's completely free. The basic uh, chat GPT is free, certainly at the moment. So I would embrace the technology, give it a go and use it to your advantage to further your voiceover career. All right. Thanks very much for watching today. Look after your voice and see you next time.